Hello, everybody. This is Tracy from Launch Tech Made Easy with this week's tech tip. And today I want to show you how to embed a Vimeo video on your website, on your WordPress site. I've gotten a couple of questions about this recently, and so I thought it would be a good time to shoot a little tech tip on how this is done. And you'll see here I am on my Vimeo screen and it lists all of the different videos that I, well it doesn't list all of them, but it lists a bunch of the videos that I have on Vimeo. So what I'm going to do is show you how to get to the embed code. So I'm going to click on this video here and I'm going to scroll down to settings. From settings, there are a few things that you can do when you get into embed. First of all, you'll, you need to go into privacy and make sure that this is set to be able to be embedded. And I have it set to embedded anywhere. This is your best bet if you want to be able to embed, embed on your site. There is also a specific domains area, but I have had mixed results with using that. So you can try to put just your website page in this area. I'll show you what happens. If you go to specific domains, you would then type in your web address like this and then whatever your website is. So mine is Launch Tech Made Easy. And it may or may not work. You'll see here the save button is no longer lit up and so I, I'm, I don't know why that is, and I've never had to use that, so I just put that it can be embedded anywhere. Uh, but what I do if I don't want people to find it, if I want it to be a private video, is I go up here and I say I'm going to hide the video from Vimeo. So with this combination, people could technically uh, find it and embed it, but it's going to be really hard to find because they can't find it through Vimeo. They could only find it if they had your link. And if you think about it, if you put some branding on your video, there's probably no reason that someone would want to take your video and embed it somewhere else. So I, I personally don't worry about all of this. You can turn this, in, um, download the video off. You can do different things like that. So you've got these settings. I'm going to put this back. And then you're going to go over to embed. Make sure you save everything. And then you're going to go over here to embed and embed is where you change the different settings on how this video will look. So you'll see if you look down here, I have a play bar. You can turn this off and on down here. And sometimes on a video, you don't want people to be able to control the play bar. If you want them to listen through to a specific um, spot or, or you, you want them to listen to the whole thing, you can turn your like on and off, things like that. You can put your, logo on here. I don't know that I have one uploaded for this video, but you can you can upload a logo and put it in the corner. So you can do all of those things and then you click save and it will save all your changes that you made. Then you go over here to embed code and you will see this code it starts with iframe and then that's the ending of the code, the end iframe, and you highlight it and copy it. Now if you have a WordPress site, you then will just take this code and put it on a page on your site. Now generally, you don't put it on a post unless it's part of a blog that you want to go live this particular week or, or whatever. Um, and so what you would do is you would take this code, let's say it's a promo that you're doing and it's a video for a promo, usually you'd put it on a page. And the difference between the pages and the posts is a post is usually put is usually um, where a blog would be I'm having trouble with my words so it will update every week and it will probably show up in blog feeds and it would show up on the front page of your site depending on how you have things set up and so this video is the particular video I'm working with is part of a sales funnel that I have and so I don't want that showing up on the front page of my website I want it to be as part of the sales funnel. So I'm putting it on a page. So if you go over here to pages, you just go pages and then it was create new. So this is this is where I would add a page and I would title it here. So um, I will call it PLC video number one. Actually, 
I wouldn't call it that because people will see this. I would call it um, Online Business Academy Training. And then, now I haven't, this is going to change depending on your theme, but my theme, you have to go into this content area to get to where you would type, okay? And your, your editor for your pages should look similar to this. It's probably not going to look exactly the same, but it will look similar. Now, where you want to go is to the text editor. Now, my text editor is over here on a tab. Yours might be in here. And it will say text or sometimes it will say um, HTML code. Either place works. So I'm going to go to text and I'm going to paste in that code that I got from Vimeo. It's this code right here. And if you look at it visual in the visual builder, you'll see it pulls in the video. Now, let me show you something. I'm going to save this draft. The really cool thing about the way that this works is that you can see now, um, let me show you. On here, you see the play bar. If I want to take that play bar off, if I decide I don't want to do that, or maybe maybe you have somebody watch your video and they say, oh, you should take that play bar off or you know, put a title on or whatever. You can go back here to Vimeo and go up here, turn off the play bar, hit save, Go back over to WordPress. Let's see if I can open this up bigger. And I'm going to refresh this. Now we'll see if my, my screen might shrink again, but we'll see. Oh, I'm in my hero section. I need to go to content. And you'll see the play bar is gone. So if you make changes here on Vimeo, you do not have to redo the embed code. The, now, because you put that embed code on your site, your site and Vimeo are talking to each other. So any changes you make on Vimeo will automatically be made on your site. So I need to, must save automatically. Okay, so that is how you embed a video on your site. And then you would definitely wanna hit publish. I'll do that quick here. And it gives you the URL up here based on what you named your page. And now if, some, if you want someone to watch this video, you give them the URL from your page. So it looks like it's coming right from your page, but it's actually not hosted on your page. It's actually hosted on Vimeo. And you can change your settings. You'll see my, I have a responsive site, so my face changes a little bit back, you know, depending on how big my site is. Um, but you can, depending on your particular page, I could turn all of this off too and just have the video on the page. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, be sure to reach out to me. Put a comment in right below the video here or uh, reach out to me at Tracy at launchtechmadeeasy.com. Bye-bye. I hope you found value in this week's tech tip. Make sure to subscribe here on YouTube. And if you have any questions or you would like to see a tech tip in the future about a specific topic, please be sure to go to Tracy at launchtechmadeeasy.com and let me know. Or pop a comment in below the video here and let me know what your question is and I'll be sure to answer it on a future episode. Bye-bye.